Hello, everybody. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Good, good, good. Um, how was your day, Andres? Good evening. Good evening. It was good, teacher. It was good? Yeah. Okay, good, excellent. Okay, what was so good about it? Tell me. Mm, nothing new, but nothing bad. So. <laughs> nothing new, but nothing bad. Okay, all right. Okay, good. Um, all right, well, sometimes um, eh, no news is, is good news, they say. <laughs> yeah. okay. Good. All right, Marvin, how was your day? I am working, teacher. Right now, yeah, I can see you're at work, huh? Yeah. And uh, what, like, uh, are you are you going to like? What's your what's your um, your shift like? You're, you have the graveyard shift today, or what? Uh, no, two uh, from two to ten p.m. From two to ten p.m. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you're all, you're. You're almost going to, well, so when you're finished the class, you're also finished work. Yeah, teacher. Oh, nice. Okay. So you're going to be able to go home. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good, good, good. Okay. Excellent. Glad to hear that. Okay. Hello, Heidi. How are you? I'm uh, fine, teacher. Yeah. Ready. Hey, I like that. Good. Okay. Excellent. How was your day at school? Uh, at school. <laughs> Sorry, at work. <laughs> How was their day? It was a nice day. Yeah? Okay, good. Um, anything interesting happened? I started celebrating my birthday, which is tomorrow. Good evening, teacher. Oh, good evening, Jerry. Okay. All right. So you're gonna be you're gonna be celebrating your birthday. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Um what do you plan to do? Uh, my brother and sister are coming. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. that's nice. Okay, um, like, so do they like live somewhere else? Like, do they live far away? Uh, no, no, not that far, but no. we almost don't see each other. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, so it will be nice to be able to see them. Yeah, it will be great to have them. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Too bad your your husband's uh, not not here, huh? Yeah. yeah he sent me well, flowers today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, he sent you flowers today. Yeah. Oh, that's mm -hmm. very sweet of him. Mm -hmm. That's very sweet. Yeah. So he he has you on his mind. Okay. Very nice. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Josue, nice. how was your day? Excellent, Miss Claudia. Okay. I good. visited the archaeological park uh, Cihuatan in Ailares. You visited where? The archaeological park. Oh. Uh, the call is uh, Cihuatan. Cihuatan. Yeah. Oh. Okay. It's like a Tazumal. Oh. Interesting. Tazumal was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you were going to say something, Marvin? The Tazumal is better. Oh. It's in my city. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. Um, really, you, you live by El Tazumal? Yeah, I am from Chalchuapa, <laughs> Chalchuapa City. Oh, okay, okay, interesting. Okay, all right. So, and 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 what did you say was the name of the place, Josué? Isiwatan. Isiwatan. Yeah. Okay, I've never heard of that. That's interesting. So, Me it's never, like, but it was interesting because we have uh, this big that I I heard about the that place it's sorry I guess, could you repeat that it's beautiful and is 
is uh, is big than I that I mm -hmm. that I expected. Oh, okay, okay. So it's so there are a lot of ruins there. Mm, sí, yeah. Yeah. Uh, almost um, seven. Um, I I like it the uh, juego de pelota los eh, la ruina donde jugaban jugaban en la cuestión esa y es, oh. está completo eso fue lo que me gustó más igual había una ruina algo grande oh interesting okay yeah. good all right well I'll, I'll ch where where is that located en Aguilares San Salvador oh, okay so it's not far away from here okay no well, for, for where I live I mean okay yeah. yeah it's good to know because I I had no idea um, so it's, it's good to know that. Okay. Yeah. Because I, I love, I love to, you know, I love visiting like, um, especially like archeological places and everything. So that's, that's interesting. Good. Okay. All right. Uh, what about the rest of you? Did you guys do anything interesting, um, on today or did you have something interesting happen at work? No? No, okay. All right, well, let me ask you another question. Um, do you have any plans for tomorrow? Me no, teacher. I'm going no? to work. <clears throat> oh, okay, you're gonna be working, okay. What about the rest of you? Do you have any plans? Just work. Just so you're gonna be also working. Mm, yes. Oh, okay. Okay. So anybody have the day off and is gonna be doing something interesting tomorrow? What is going to be the Father Day tomorrow? Yes. Interesting. That means that we are are uh, we are going to have a holiday. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's why I'm asking. Are you guys are you going to be doing something interesting tomorrow? I'm going to ask my I'm a boss if we are going to work tomorrow. No. <laughs> you, what? You don't know? I don't know. I no, uh, she told me that we are and um, we are going to have a vacation, but I'm going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was the, I thought the, the day is going to be Friday. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, no, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh my okay, God. so you know, you know you're not going to work then, or you're not sure. Uh, yes, I, uh, yes, we are going to, to have a vacation that day, but I, thought that it's going to be the Friday, but I, because I don't, I don't play attention at the day. That so is, uh, if we didn't talk about that today, you, were, <laughs> you would have gone to work tomorrow. Yes, that's right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. That's, okay. That's good thing that we talked about that today. Oh <laughs> Thank no. Thank you for remembering me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wow. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad we we, we mentioned it. So that way, you'll you'll be able to sleep um, a little bit more tomorrow. Yes, that's right. Right. Okay. Good. Good. All right, guys. Uh, well, before we um, get too care away, let's. Good evening, teacher. Uh, hi. Good evening, Warner. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Juan Francisco. How are you? Pleasant teacher. <laughs> okay, good. Actually, so um, I haven't teacher. taken attendance. We've been talking so much. Uh, we've been having a, a great time talking about ruins and, um, you know, holidays. And so we haven't had a chance. But let's try. Let's do that right now, actually. Um, all right. So let me take the attendance. We'll start with Ana Claudia. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Andres. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Edgar. Present teacher. Okay. Janet. Present teacher. 
present ¿Ven? teacher present oh, yes yes i can i can well es que no I, me hear veo. You, i hear uh -huh. you but i don't i can't see you <laughs> it's a, it's a little, no sí, ya me voy a mover de acá, no me veo. Sí, es que solo es como una, una, una mancha negra. Sí. So, okay. The garden explains. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it looks interesting. Así como, como algo de... It's a way. Okay. All right, uh, Fabiola. Present teacher. All right. Heidi. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Irene? Irene, Irene, Irene. Irene, okay. Uh, Ivan? Present teacher. All right. Josue? Josue? Present teacher. Okay. Present. All right. Um, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Jerry. Present teacher. Okay. Carla. Present teacher. All right. Um, eh, Luis. Luis. No, not here. Okay, Manuel. Present teacher. Okay. Marvin. Present teacher. <clears throat> Wendy. Present. Okay, thank you. Um, Warner. Present teacher. Great. And uh, Yvonne. Present. All right. Francisco. No. Uh, Jenny. Okay. All right. So just making sure from what the people I didn't hear were Luis, Francisco, Javier, and Jenny. Everybody else I heard. Okay, excellent guys. All right, I'm glad, I'm glad you guys, um, um, everybody is here. Okay. Uh, okay, um, hold on, just give me one second. Okay, uh, before I forget guys, um, talking about uh, holidays, yes, tomorrow is a holiday. Therefore, we're not going to be coming, sorry, we're not gonna be having class, okay? Um, so just a reminder that tomorrow we do not have class, okay? Uh, we will have class until Friday, once again. Okay, but tomorrow, no class. All right, is that clear for everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, so just remember that. Um, yeah, that reminder. Um, and we would be finishing um, on, um, on Monday. Okay, so that's, that's, that's the idea, to be able to finish for Monday, okay? Any questions you guys want to ask? No, it's all clear? Yeah? Okay. Okay, good. Okay, so we're going to start our, um, our PowerPoint and um, please let me know when you can see my PowerPoint. Can you see it? Yes, it yes, is. Okay. Uh, oops. 
There we go. So uh, the beginner is module six, it's unit four. We're looking at trainings. And today is Wednesday, June 16th, 2021. It's day number 18. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, um, so let's start with the exercises that we did for homework. So the instructions were read the following services, write the questions to evaluate them using the simple pass and pass and pass of B. So this is something that we did yesterday, right? Okay. Um, I asked you guys to read the two exercises oops, and to make questions. And now what we're going to do is you're going to join your assigned breakout room, work in pairs, then ask the questions to a classmate, share the answers you got with the rest of the class. Okay. So, um, this was something that you were supposed to have done for homework. So I'm guessing everybody has done it. And I'm going to be now dividing you guys into groups or into pairs. Okay. Any questions about that? What we're, what we're going to be doing? No, teacher. Okay. Uh, Werner, you are on one device. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. Teacher, so, yeah. I have a question. Uh, what is the the red part and class <clears throat> traduction? No. Sorry, what is the question again? Can you repeat? What is the red part? And second, second quadro. You, are, are you asking me about vocabulary? Yes. Uh, uh, read. Um, this, the reads? Uh -huh, read. Yes. Uh, this? Are you talking about this? Yes, yes, yes. Um, that's just um, it's just the name. Um, of the I think it's the name of the Sony. Of it's like the brand. Yeah, the brand the of brand. the machine. Uh. Mm -hmm. uh Okay, I okay. understand. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. So this is the, the name of the of the type of of, of sewing machine. It's like there. I think there's a there's this brand that's very famous. I think it's called Singer. I think it's also a very famous um, sewing machine. And so it's just like the name. Anything else? Okay. No? Okay. Okay. In that case, guys, we're going to, um, we're going to open up the groups. I'm going to give you once again, uh, 15 minutes. And the reason is because your interviewer partner, okay. And you're making, through, you're making seven questions each, and so that means seven questions, seven answers, right? And that's seven for you, set and seven for the other person. So in total, that's fourteen questions and fourteen answers. So I want you guys to have a conversation and try not to limit it to to the yes and no. Like try to make more conversation okay all right um try to explain give more more details etc cetera, etc cetera. okay so i'm going to open up the rooms right about oh hold on. Yeah. yeah right about now
Uh, Mar Marvin, do you have any problems? Hi, Heidi. Hi. My was left alone. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what I noticed. I think Werner was the the. the ah, one, right? okay. Yeah, he's not. Oh, you know what? Okay, what I'm gonna do is the following. I'm going to actually join you with another person. Okay. okay that has also been left alone. Okay, so I'm gonna change. Okay, sounds good. Okay. All right. Okay, teacher. Okay. Hundred dollar. The brand was Ridwell. The customer service was great because we received all the information we need. Okay. Okay. The second, the second is uh, January on January second. I bought the Reed bars that were. Sorry, could you sorry to to interrupt you. Uh, it's January. The stress was on the first syllable, not January. It's January. January. Perfect. On January 2nd, I bought the reads parts that were requ requested. Requ requested. The price was $30 each, and they were installed in this sewing machine the machine was working what is the pronunciation of properly 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 yeah okay i write a for question about the second paragraph for example, uh, Janet, when was, uh, sorry, sorry, what was the price about the part of the printer? The second paragraph. No, the first. Um, no, the first, the price, the price was $300. Okay, how was the customer service? Customer service was great. Where the uh, teacher? Yeah. Teacher, mm -hmm. we can use the the simple past too, right? Uh, we can yeah, you also use yes. simple okay. past, but the verb okay. to be. Okay. Ah, oh, simple past of the verb oh, to be. Ah, uh, yeah. Entendí mal entonces. I because I I made one question. Using just the simple past. Um, yeah, that's fine, but of the verb oh, okay. to be. Yeah, like the idea is to try to use as much as the verb to be. Mm -hmm. That's okay. You can use you can use the simple past. That's good. 
But okay. the idea is to try to use the verb to be. Okay. Does that make For sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, was your printer, uh, sorry, when was uh, your printer broke? When was your printer broke? Broken. Broken. Hmm? On January second. Okay. Which brand, which brand is the spare part of the printer? The brand was yeah, printable. Well. Well. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. How was the customer service? The customer service was great. Mm -hmm. Did you receive all the information you needed? Yes. They, they did. Oh, they, okay. they, and, and where did you buy the spare part? I bought it at Spare ES. At the spot, uh -huh. and, and now we go with the other paragraph. Ah, okay. Second paragraph. Paragraph number two. Mm, okay. Did you did you write the question to paragraph number two? Mm. <laughs> yes, uh so not me. <laughs> but, but 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 also mentioning, mm -hmm. even if it's the same, just mention them, right? The idea is okay. to get practice. Yes. Okay. 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 Uh, for example, uh, what what the spell were installed? Uh, can you repeat it, please? Where the spell were installed? <laughs> mm -hmm. What my pronunciation? <laughs> Uh, donde, en donde fue instalado, quería preguntar el repuesto. Ah, ok. Uh, they were installed in the sewing machine. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, West was the purchase. The purchase was on January 2nd. What, what was the price of the spare, spare part? Oh, the rich parts. Uh, the price was $30. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the brand of the spare part? What was the what? What was the brand of the spare part? Brand. The, the brand. brand was, the yes. brand was. In the second paragraph, I, I don't see the brand. Mm -hmm. um, I don't see the, the brand. Mm -hmm. uh, Ritz. Ritz part. Mm. Uh, is Ritz the brand teacher? Yes, it is. Ah, okay. Okay, the brand is Ritz. Okay. Uh, the, the, the machine work? Yes, the machine is working properly. Okay. Mm. 
only that for me. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, you guys can ask more questions like, um, like oh, but I said, you can give more information, not just limit to yes or no. Um, you know, just get like, give more information. Yeah, okay. that's, that's the idea with this. Okay. Okay. Uh, the full sentence then yeah in the answer okay uh -huh. I, okay Juan Francisco I will ask my questions and then you answer the, the full the full way yeah and, and give more and give more details right so that okay. you guys have the opportunity to practice more it's kind of the idea okay okay and what part was requested? We're talking about paragraph number two. Page, uh, page 42. Hello, Yvonne. Hello, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> I am visiting all the rooms. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very sorry. It's good. No problem, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I i want i didn't want warner to be alone so and i said uh, yeah. yeah professor uh, teacher i'm yeah, sorry he was so sad. In, in my case he, he ran out of the internet dates my cell phone teacher sorry uh, i ran out of the internet dates in my cell phone oh like okay, I, I don't know day, no sé cómo se dice. <laughs> Uh -huh. data del internet uh -huh. your internet data ah the internet no se dice day se dice beer como es data 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 oh, oh data data mm. Entonces, es como i thought that was data <laughs> what the... data yes. data. <laughs> the, the, the... data yes okay um okay uh but but it's okay you're yes. you're, you're okay now warner uh me no estaba diciendo yeah. que era lo que uh, you, said, you said that you um that you had run out of the the internet data so data, but everything's yeah. okay now yes teacher okay good all right okay so go ahead work with um one Pretend I'm not here. Teacher, a question. Uh, if yeah. I want to say compra, pero no así de, de, del verbo, sino que, por ejemplo, cuando fue la compra, uh, the, the, the word that I have to use is bought. Purchase. 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 Okay. Purchase. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Werner. Okay. Okay. The first paragraph uh, is on the page 42. 42, I think. Uh, and said on November 1st, I bought the spare part. Hey girls, are you finished? When? Yeah, teacher. Yeah. Just, uh, solamente, uh, I I'm just uh, change uh, three question because I used uh, the the simple past. It, it. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to use simple past, but of the verb to be. Ah, uh, right, and I don't use the verb to be. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The, mm -hmm. yeah, the, the idea is to practice with using the which is which is uh, changing okay okay Fine. and the in the second paragraph lc um, is the sewing machine um, each day we're installed 
Eh, when, no, where, where was, I bought the rich part that we requested. Where was, when, where, where was your, your buy? Buy the machine. No. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, do you girls have any questions? No? No, teacher. All right, I'll see you girls in the main room in a moment. Okay. Hello, Fabiola. Hello, Fabiola. Hello, teacher. How are you? ¿Ah? You're not at home yet. No. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, thank you for connecting anyways. Um, okay. So Fabiola, listen, um, I'm not going to like, I'm going to, I'm going to always like put you in groups and uh, for you to listen and try to participate as much as possible in the groups and everything. Um, so I can't just like leave you out, but what I'll do is, um, I know that things are a little bit difficult right now. Uh, so what I'll just um, go easy on you, you won't, don't worry about, I'm not gonna be like asking you to give me an answer or anything like that, right? Okay, but, but yes, I will have to put you into, into different groups. Okay, have you Yes, I did. Okay, all right. Um, but you're not driving? No. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 All right. I'm going to bring everybody back to the room. Okay. Because we were in, in breakout room. So I'm going to bring them back. Okay. Oh, Fabiola, una pregunta. Tengo una curiosidad. Yeah. Cuando usted se mete al grupo y no hay nadie ahí, uh, le, le dice que le, le da el mensaje que la clase está en. en sí. Están en. en in group of pequeños, in the breakout rooms. Sí, sí aparece. Aparece. Sí. ¿Y cómo le aparece? El anfitrión, como que los tiene reunidos, no he leído bien, solo me dice que sí están en grupitos. ¿Cómo? Que el anfitrión ha hecho como como grupo. Ajá, pero sí aparece, da la opción. Ah, y le dice que, 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 el, que el de espera que esté asignado. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, ya, ok, ok, ok. Ya, ok. Solo quería, tenía esa duda de cómo le, le aparecía. Ok. Sí, pero sí aparece dicho. Ok. Ok. Um, All right, I'm going to bring everybody back. Teacher is in the house tonight. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, okay. So, you guys had a chance there to ask questions. Yes. Okay. I I want I want to clarify something. Many people saying, "Oh, teacher, I didn't write it in the simple past. Or, oh, I just realized we have to do it in simple pass. Yes, we have to do it in simple pass, but with simple pass of B. Okay. Mm -hmm. So your questions should have all been directed with was or were. Okay, that, that was the idea to practice mm -hmm. with the was or were. So you should have been able to ask questions. Give me a second, one moment. So you should be able to ask question with was or were, then the subject, 
and then the complement, and then the question mark. So that, that's, that's how you should have been able to work on it, okay? Um, now, if you did it some other way and it was in the past, okay, that's fine. Um, you know, there's, I mean, grammatically speaking, it's not a problem, but we just want to be able to, like, for the purpose of this activity, we wanted to be able to practice using the, the was or were um, so just give me a moment so that I can, I'm going to pull up the information because I can't do it right now on the computer since I'm showing this. Just give me a second, guys. All right, so for example, for the first one, eh, okay, you could, for example, ask to give you an example. What was the price? Okay, sure. That could be one. Of the spare part. Okay, what was the price of the spare part? Sure. That works. Was the price cheap? Mm -hmm. Good. Was the price cheap? Or, mm -hmm. yeah, that works. Okay. Or, for example, um, was the spare Was the spare reads price a hundred dollars? Okay, was the spare, or you can say, was the spare part, um, sorry, the, so let me see, was the spare part uh, <clears throat> bought? Or better said, was, yeah, was the spare part? Hmm, I have a, a question so, regarding that. We had a, a tab with Andres. Mm -hmm. I'm, like, I'm actually, I, I have a feeling I know what the question is, so I'm actually, I'm actually going to refrain from that because I'm going to confuse you. <laughs> <laughs> we, with Andres, we were discussing because I ha we had one and we were really looking because the one it says, when uh, was, uh, no, uh, perdón, la pelea, when were these parts purchased? And, and we'll be discussing if the purchase is used as a subject or in this case, or what <laughs> we've been dealing with. Where, where, where did you see that? I was trying to create the answer, the question. We were, as a homework, and ah, we were but, discussing using, uh-huh. But, what, what, but where did you see that question? Or did you create the question? No, I, uh, yes, I created oh, that okay. like my, my dub is because you say that when we use the auxiliary was and where, uh, the verbs can be used just as a, as a, I, as an adjective, I'm sorry, it's an adjective, right? So I don't know if that is correct. When were those parts purchased? <laughs> I don't know if it's correct. <laughs> it is. It is, oh, okay. it is correct. Um, and okay, what I said was, when you have an adjective, you're gonna use the verb to be, but that doesn't mean that you're only gonna use the verb to be with an adjective. Uh huh. Okay, so let, let's clarify that, okay? So if you have a verb, sorry, if you have an adjective, you're probably gonna use the verb to be, mm -hmm. but it's not limited to just adjectives, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, okay, um, so the answer to your question, is that correct? Yes, it's correct. Ah, okay. Why okay. it's correct, I'm probably not going to go into that detail very much, um, simply because we're not there, we're not even close ah, okay. to, that, to that topic yet. 
but let me just tell you that, that it has to do with a grammatical structure that is called the passive voice. Oh, okay. 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 I thought that it was because uh, using purchase as an adjective. No. Let's leave it in that way. Um, no. <laughs> Don't get confused. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you want to go and look for it on your own. Exactly. Go ahead, right? But yes, right now we're just going to, we don't want to confuse anybody. <laughs> okay. So, uh -huh. Thank like you. That. Um, you can say, for example, what's the spare part? Um, what's the spare? Hold on. What's. Okay, what is the spare part hot, hot, uh, for, uh, what's the No, because you cannot for? use a, a past verb using the auxiliary was. Mm -hmm. What's the spare part bought at? Yes, yes, and, and, and yes, grammatically speaking, that is correct, but we don't, we want to avoid that <laughs> because we're going to confuse everybody, so. I'm just going to say, what's the spare part for um, a washing machine? Uh, okay. Okay, was the spare part for a washing machine? No, it wasn't, right? Okay. Uh, we can ask, for example, um, <laughs> were. Was the customer service good? Mm -hmm. it was, a, was the customer service good? Um, and let me use with were. Um, I'm probably going to have to use it from the second one. Um, so, okay, well, we could say we're, I'm sorry, we're the Ritz part, the Ritz part. Expensive, mm -hmm. for example, where the Ritz parts expensive, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm not going to continue going on to because I mean, the answers, the questions are inf um, infinite. So, what I do want you to notice though is that, oops, oh my goodness, there you go. All right. Um, what I do want you to notice though is that we use the was or the were. Was or were, okay? And then the subject, in this case is the price of the spare part. All of this is actually the subject, the price. Um, the spare part, is the price. Here we have spare part, the Ritz parts. And then we continue with the complement, which in this case is cheap or washing machine. Oops. expensive. Now this one doesn't have it because the reason why it doesn't have it is because it has something special at the beginning, which is a question mark. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, sorry, uh, a question word. Um, so because of the question word, it kind of changes the format a little bit. Okay. And so we, we don't need a compliment because the whole thing is the price of the spare part is the subject. Okay. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense for everybody. Teacher, I, sure. I would like to see if, 
if I assent that I, I roll is correctly the okay. structure. Sure. What you what you bought bought a uh, spare for uh, for the print? I'm sorry, could you repeat that question? What you bought? Uh, what spare you for, bought? Bought. What you bought? Like that? Mm hmm. What you bought a spare for the print? Like this? Mm hmm. Okay, first of all, a spare what? Because. A spare, uh, yes, a spare, a spare, a spare it for the print. Um, okay, spare is extra. So maybe a spare Ritz part? Mm hmm a spare Ritz part. Okay. And what do you mean by the, for the print? Um, print, print, and print, because I saw this. Uh, let me see, because we are... Uh, what, what do you mean by print? A, the a printer. I'm oh, sorry, printer. Printer, okay. printer I'm sorry. All right. Okay, so the, the spare Ritz part for the printer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, uh, now, my question is, what are you was. trying to ask here? Was, was. The first is was. Oh, was. Was, no, was, in that case, yeah, where? Where do you ah, buy? Exactly. Mm, where, where do you buy, where do you buy the spare, spare read bar for the printer, right? Okay. Uh, you're going to use word because it's you, but this doesn't really make sense because um, bought is a verb. And remember, I told you, we can't use the verb by, or we can't use another verb and the verb to be. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah? Mm hmm Okay. So that won't make sense. Now, what did you want to ask? Maybe we can change a little bit the format so it makes sense. Tell me in Spanish, what, what is it you wanted to ask? Que yeah. si se compró una parte, alguna repuesto. Oh, okay. In that case, no. going to where be in, the uh, spare part. You can use the verb to be, uh, to buy, sorry. And in that case, it changes everything and it's what we're going to be learning today, which is using this. Did you buy? That's actually what we're going to be learning today. So don't worry about it because we'll, we'll talk about that today. Yeah. But that would be the question. Did you buy a part for the printer? Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I think it's easier to use this more than was and where. <laughs> um, it's just that we just have to understand when we use the verb to be. Like, just think about it, when it, is it, do you guys understand when to use the verb to be? Maybe that's the problem. Do we know when to use the verb to be? Chicos? Hello? In general, do you guys know when to use the verb to be? You say that is when we use it with an adjective mostly, but it's not limited to that. Right, but but in general, I'm talking about uh, in general. Do you know when you have to use the verb to be? Uh, what is it used for, the verb to be? Para que se usa? Better explain it, teacher. Okay. So this is, uh, this is basic. You gotta know the when to use the verb to be, otherwise you're gonna get lost, okay? So let's talk about that. Verb to be is used for names. Okay. 
uh, of people or names or just basically names, right? Okay, so for example, I am Jessica. Okay, uh, you are Katie. He is Dury. Okay, so we we talk we we use it to talk about names. We also use it for um, to talk about gender. Okay, so um, I am a woman. He is a boy. They are girls. Okay, got it. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. We also use it to talk about um, uh, place of origin. Okay. Uh, for example, um, he is from Russia. I am from Canada. She is from Guatemala. You are from Santa Tecla. Place of origin. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We also use it for nationalities. Okay. So, um, for example, uh, he is Salvadorian. Uh -huh. We are Salvadoran. Uh, they are Chinese. Um, um, it is German. And when I say it, we can refer to it as like, like things, right? For example, I don't know. A tablet, a cell phone. Yeah, cell phone, tablet, whatever. Um, we can say it is German. Okay. Um, we can also use it, um, talk about um, occupations or the jobs. So let's say jobs and occupations. and professions. Okay, so for example, I am a teacher. Uh, he is a student. We are um, doctors. Okay. Um, Etc. 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 Okay. Um, we can use it to talk about marital status. Okay. Uh, for example, um, I know uh, you are married. He is divorced. Uh, they are widowed. <clears throat> okay. Um, all right. We can also use it to talk about um, con conditions. And what I mean by conditions, I'm talking about things that that happen in the moment and can change. For example, I am hungry. Okay. And I say that I'm hungry and that that's a condition and it changes because if I eat, I'm not gonna be hungry anymore. Okay. Are, you, are you sick? Right? Right now you may, you may be sick, but if you, you know, take, if you drink, uh, if you take some medicine and um, rest, you're not going to be sick anymore. So that's a condition. Okay. Um, 
Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, we can use it for um, adjectives to describe appearance, personality. Uh, so, for example, um, he is tall. Okay. We are shy. Okay, so tall appearance, shy personality. Right. Um, or even opinion. Right. Maybe also an opinion. I mean, adjectives describe more than that, but I'm just giving you an example. For example, you can say, um, you know, you are beautiful. Um, Thank you, teacher. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome, Marvin. Um, I don't know. Uh, um, they are interesting. So that, those are opinions, right? I mean, there's no way that we can, um, we, we, like, I mean, that's just somebody's opinion. Like my opinion can change from yours, right? Mm -hmm. um, we can use it also um, to describe, um, uh, I'm sorry. give me a moment, there was something else that slipped my mind. Um, There's one more that's slipped on my mind. Oh, uh, we can also talk about um, state, like, um, a, um, for example, uh, temporary quality. Temporary quality. Um, such as, uh, for example, um, he is rich. Well, yeah, right now he's rich. Uh, but, you know, he may ba go bankrupt and then he's not rich anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, what was the other one? Um, oh, to describe existence. Exist, exist. So existence, that something exists, right? For example, there are uh, many parks in my neighborhood. So you're describing mm -hmm. what exists, okay? Okay. Okay. Oh, there's also, we can use it for age, right? Okay, so age, like, um, it is very old. It is very old. So we're talking about the age of something, right? We can use it for relationships. Uh, for example, um, he is my cousin. Okay, they are my, my grandparents. Okay. Um, we can talk about uh, location. We use it to talk about location. My house is um, on the corner. Okay. Um, I uh, my the the um, the building is between the the two between the um the museum and the pharmacy okay um we can also use it the verb 
to build the lines. Give me a second. Actually, I'm going to do something because of space. It's not enough. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going Maybe to you need to move yeah. the to be <laughs> upper. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I'm going to do right now. So just give me a moment. Okay, almost, almost, almost. Oh, hold on, just give me a second. Oh, that's better. Okay, um, I'm actually, I'm going to do this because I think it'll be better if I do this. Yeah, okay. So um, it can also be used for time. Uh, for example, it is late. Um, it's uh, seven o'clock, um, things like that, okay? Uh, we can talk about people's behavior, okay? Uh, for example, let's see. Um, So we can say, for example, um, she she, um, she is very hyperactive. Okay, talking about the behavior of someone, um, she's very hyperactive, or uh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous, right? So behavior, uh, or for example, um, she's um, he's very rude. Okay, he's very rude. So talking about someone's behavior um and so forth okay so th those are some of the things um that we can that we can use the verb to be i don't know if this makes sense to you or i just confused you i don't know is this okay this is in my case this is very helpful and there is nothing uh below location right I'm just trying to time you can't huh? see it I put time. I'll just uh, I'll erase it from here because. Ah, oh yes, maybe, because I want to make it. Right, maybe you can't see it. Okay, so ah, okay. I'll just erase it. Okay, so uh, yeah, so it can be time. Um, yeah. All right. Any other guy? Any other things that you guys can think of? Uh, this is pretty much what I can think of. But um, I don't know if maybe you guys can think of something else. Very helpful, illustrative. <laughs> okay, good. Because the idea is this, if you understand why we use the verb to be, then you will understand which verb to use, right? If we need to use the verb to be, or we need to use another verb, right? So. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, what about the rest of you guys? Do you have any questions or you want to comment? You want to make a comment about something? Does this make sense to you or did I just confuse you? It makes sense. <laughs> no, for me, it was very helpful because this uh, reminds me something that we think is, we know it by heart, but it's not. Sometimes we forget the multiple usage. Right, yes. Uh, what about the others? I know that for Ana Claudia it was helpful, but what about <laughs> for the rest of you? Tell me, um, what do you guys think? Do you have questions? You, you're, it was helpful, you're more confused, you want to add another idea? What? Tell me. Uh, can, can you repeat uh, the behavior part, please? Sure. 
um, this is something that a behavior like is the way that somebody acts, right? So we can say, for example, he he is rude. He is rude. So you can talk about somebody's behavior, saying like the person is rude, like they um, he was he was very rude to me. Okay. Or for example, uh, they are very hyperactive. The kids, the children are very hyperactive. Teacher, what is the difference the adjective, discrete personality, opinion, or appearance? Appearance. What is the difference in behavior and the ad adjective? Oh, well, actually, not really much. I mean, I could add the word behavior over here if you guys want. It's, I mean, it's just another, uh, another um, adjective, type of adjective we can use. So if, if this helps, then we can add this. Any other questions? No, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So I Thank hope, you. yeah, you're welcome. I hope this will um, give you a, a little bit of a chance there to understand things a little bit better. And uh, I mean, there is pro there are probably more uh, reasons why we use the verb to be. I'm not saying this is the only thing, but those are pretty much the things that I can remember. And that's why I was asking if you guys uh, can think of anything else, we can probably add that. I don't know if you guys can think of anything. Teacher, thank you because uh, other teacher uh, in other times say only uh, there to be is zero star, only that. And you explain the more um, specific uh, application the verb to be. Thanks. You're welcome. Um, yeah, I mean, yes, uh, the verb to be is cero estar, right? But yes, we, we use the, that verb for different reasons, right? And then you got to know. And then, of course, there is the, the verb to be as an auxiliary, right? But we're looking at, at the verb to be here, not as an auxiliary, but as a verb itself. For me, it's very, it's clarifying when for the question structure. I don't feel so lost <laughs> like I felt at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, in that case, what we're gonna do is we're going to, um, oh, I'm gonna stop sharing this and we're going to move on to the next part. Um, just give me a moment. Okay, everybody can see my PowerPoint, right? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. So let's take a look, a look at let's take a look at the conversation here. And I, of course, I have two questions for you. The first question is the following: It's where do trainings take place in your company, and who are the eligible people to go to trainings? at your workplace, okay? So, um, you know, you guys, we've been talking about trainings. Um, some of you told me that you have trainings every week, every month, uh, some of you every day. So I want, we're, so let's talk about where do these trainings take place? Are they online? Are they at specific place in the workplace? Do you have to go outside, et cetera, et cetera? And also who are the eligible or who are the, chosen people to go to the trainings at your workplace can anybody go or do you um 
or can, do you have to like have an invitation to go um, or only specific people are allowed to go? I'm gonna get you guys to work in, in pairs and discuss these questions, okay? So we're gonna open up the breakout rooms. Give me a moment. Okay, you guys can join your breakout rooms. Hello. Hello, Fabiola. Um, can you go? Can you uh, can you join your your group? No, teacher. Este, no. Quizá le apreté mal y me salí. No sé. Pero sí me parecía que 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 entrara. Y en eso le di, pero como está. Eh, mire otra vez donde dice breakout room. Apretelo y le debería de, de aparecer la invitación. No. Uh, I, understand, I understand that where the trainings are, are developed, for example, in our company, maybe Foltec. Hello? Manuel, are you there? Manuel, Alejandro, are you there? Maybe his connection is down, working down. Yeah, I mean, he may have slow connection right now. Okay. Hello, Manuel. I don't know what happened with him. Okay, um, just give me a sec. Okay. Hola. Hello, hello, Marvi. <laughs> hello, how are you? Marvin, como usted dice que todo el mundo se alegra. <laughs> Cuando se llega. <laughs> bueno, que se alegre. <laughs> y yo ya, ya me había echado el discurso, teacher. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, but... Pero um, 
necesito que me auxilie aquí porque no estamos seguros qué pasó ahí con Manuel Alejandro, si ¿sí? la conexión de él no, no está funcionando, ¿ok? Entonces, um, ahí continúe ahí con, con Ivín, ¿ok? Ok, hey, thank you, teacher. Okay. Pero ya ve que se alegró cuando me vio. <risa> yes, <risa> yes, <risa> of course. <risa> yes. Ok, okay and, uh -huh. okay, Marvin, and where do training take place in your company? Yes, in my company. Ok. Ok. The teacher is here. Yes, I am. <laughs> and we were saying that trainings in our companies depend on the on the position and depending on the training. For example, uh, a sales training, you're going to send sellers or, or, or managers, for example. But uh, there are certain trainings that all, all everybody has to go. For example, the ones that are re regular, regulatory, how would you say that? That are because of a law? Hello? Hello, teacher? Ya no me voy No, I'm here, I'm here. Uh, no, what I'm... No, you're right. You're absolutely right. No, but what um, I was saying is that I just want you to um, pretend I'm not here. Just go ahead and continue there with Juan Francisco. Ah, okay. Okay, Juan Francisco, for example, in, in at the bank, we have anti-money laundering trainings every year. And every single person in the bank has to take it. Everyone, because he's because of our logs. And, and you were telling me that you take a lot of trainings about security, right? Yes, um, my company and um, the training is about the security per site and for uh, manage the force. Um, and signing of the fighter fighter. Mm -hmm. And have you ever been involved in an accident? Uh, okay. No. You have. Have you ever been involved in an accident? And climbing in your uh -huh, no in, in your company because you receive a lot of a, a lot of trainings to avoid accidents but have you ever been into in into one one accident or no Sorry, I, I has tenido algún accidente ah, yo sí no no ah, okay <laughs> So the, 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 the trainings are good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the trainings are good. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, we had the we had the use we had to use the uh equipment security or security equipment. Mm -hmm. And they teach you how, how to use it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what, which was the last one, the last training you attend? Mm, they. Uh, the last, the last year, or como se dice el año pasado, mm -hmm. the last year, uh, hello Alejandro, que paso hermano Alejandro, se perdió un momentito, 
Your, your microphone is off. Perdón, teacher. Eh, tuve problemas con la conexión y me tocó salirme de la plataforma. Ah, ok, sí. Está en el grupo 2 con Irene. Ajá, es cierto. Sí, estábamos ahí. De hecho, estaba yo en ese grupo cuando vimos que no, de que como que tenía problemas con la conexión. Sí. Ok, ok. But everything is ok now. Ok, thanks, teacher. All right. Ok, I'm going to bring everybody back. Okay, welcome back, everybody. Um, I don't know where the time went, <laughs> and I didn't even notice. And so I forgot, like, I, I didn't even notice what time it was, and um, we didn't take attendance. So let's do that right now. Uh, Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Andres? Present teacher. Edgar? Present teacher. Janet? Present teacher. Fabiola? Present teacher. Katie. Present teacher. Irene. Present teacher. Ivan. Present teacher. Johnny. Johnny. I think I saw Johnny. Did I say Johnny? No. No. It was. I, it was my imagination. Josue. Present teacher. Juan Francisco? Present teacher. Murray? Present teacher. Carla? Present teacher. Eh, Melissa? No. Uh, Luis? Present teacher. Uh, Manuel? Present teacher. Marvin? Present teacher. Wendy? Present. Warner? Present teacher. Yvonne? Present. Francisco Javier? Jenny? Okay. All right, perfect. Okay, so let's continue, guys. So now that we've talked a little bit about that, um, let's take a look at our conversation. This conversation is between Mrs. We Lewis and Eric. Okay, and what we're going to do, um, I'm going to actually uh, read this conversation out loud and I want you guys to uh, practice saying it after me. So here we go. Hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. How's it going? How's it, How is it going? How's it going? How's it going? Oh, Hello, Mrs. Lewis. Hello, Hello Mrs. Mrs. Lewis. Hello, Mr. Lewis. Mrs. 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 Lewis. 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 Uh, I am just fine. I am, I am just, just, just fine. fine. Thanks Dime. for asking. Thanks Thank for you for asking. asking. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. How was the training? How was the training? It was excellent. It was, it was excellent. excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience. The speaker, the speaker had, had, a, lot had a, lot a lot of experience. And he was very knowledgeable. And, and, and he, he was, was very knowledgeable. Repeat, teacher, please. 
Okay, fine. It will be easier for you to pronounce the word knowledge. Okay? Knowledge. You guys know the word knowledge, right? Conocimiento. Mm, knowledge. Yes, knowledge. Okay, so say knowledge. 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 Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. No, knowledgeable. 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 Don't, don't, be, I, I'm hearing people putting on the second one. Knowledgeable. No, no it's not knowledgeable. knowledgeable. It's knowledgeable. 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 Exactly. Knowledgeable. Ahí está mi vida. No, let's see. Let's see. I hear you. I hear. I, I hear. I hear you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember. It's okay. It's okay, Jack. It's okay. Um. Ya me perdí dónde estamos. Okay. Yeah. He provide, I'm provide provide example. Example. I'm I'm All right, here we go. Sí, pero es que eso va a pasar si pone el el stress en el segundo se van a confundir y van a hablar acerca de la de la lección. You gotta be careful. It's on the first one. Knowledgeable. 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 All right, knowledgeable. Did he provide examples? Did he, Did he provide, he provide examples? examples of the topics he talked about? Of the, the topics, topics he talked about. about. Topic about. He talked about. Yes, he did. 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 And he used a computer. And, and he, he used, used a computer. 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 To provide examples. To provide, to provide examples. examples. Provide examples. Oh, sounds good. Sounds, sounds good. good. So everything was fine, right? So everything, so everything was, was fine, fine. Right. 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 right? right. Well, he was some minutes late. Well, well he, was he was some, some minutes, minutes late. 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 Um, with and we left very late. And, and we, we left, left, we left very late. Very late. Blame it to knowledge ball. Huh? Blame, blame it to knowledge ball. He, he was very knowledgeable. That's why they left late. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. Okay. So we covered pronunciation, right? Yeah. Yes, I think so. Yeah, so the word knowledgeable is clear for everybody, right? Mm -hmm. yeah? No. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. Ah. Knowledgeable. No, no. no. knowledgeable <laughs> in the first no one. Knowledgeable. 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 By the way, it's not leche. It's not leche. <laughs> knowledgeable. No, knowledgeable. Lecha, lecha, lecha. No, 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 lec
knowledge. ¿Cómo así? No, ya me dejó. Eres de Knowledge. 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 Una J, una J, pero no en español, en inglés. Sí, creo que sea como G, una knowledgeable. Una G. Yes. Yes. Knowledge. But, knowledgeable. Ajá, knowledge. Una G. Knowledge. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. No, no, no. Knowledgeable, no. Knowledgeable, no. Es knowledgeable. 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 Oh, knowledgeable. Okay. Hagan esto. Knowledgeable. On the first syllable, then it's going to be easier for you to remember that it's not the leche. Okay. All right. Knowledge. Knowledge. Okay. Knowledge. 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 Okay. All right. Let's continue with the, with the vocabulary. Tell me any words that you do not understand what they mean. Teacher uh, left in this case left left behind so in the final paragraph we left very late oh left is the past of leave Leave. You understand leave? Irse? Leave. Uh, irse. irse uh -huh. Yes. So, no, fuimos muy tarde. Fuimos muy tarde. Leave is the past. No, fuimos so, tarde. Yes. Leave is the past. Of, sorry, sorry, left is the past. Leave. Anything else? Provide. No? Provide. Provide. Uh-huh. It's a it's a project. Provide. Provide. Anything else? Okay. It looks like those. That's it. Okay. All right. Good. Now let's uh, discuss these questions here. First question. What kind of event did Eric attend? A training. A training. Good. A training. Very good. What did the speaker use to provide examples? A Give me complete. He, he used, used a, computer. a computer to provide examples. Good. He used a computer to provide examples. And last question. What did Eric not like about the event? Um, she was some minutes late. Who? I don't know if in this case is the correct way is the trainer because the trainee was he, the one receiving the training, right? Right. Ah, okay, so in this case, the trainer. The trainer was he late. Was late. Okay, right. Okay, that's a good point. Uh, so the person that is giving the training is called the trainer. And the person that is receiving the trainer, the training is called the trainee. Okay. Okay. Teacher, in the in the in the paragraph in the conversation, uh, yeah. said the speaker. Right. The, in, yes. I mean, um, The speaker is correct, but the speaker is just, it's more general, okay? The speaker is anybody who gives 
a, a, a speech. That's a speaker. Okay? Un, a speech, una charla. So anybody that gives a speech is a speaker. Okay? But if you want to be more specific because he did a attend a training, then specifically, um, it's a... Uh, is a train uh, a trainer it's just like trainer. for example to i i can be i can be a speaker like me personally i can be a speaker because i'm uh i'm speaking about a topic in particular like when i was giving the information about the verb to be to be i, I was being a speaker i was just giving you examples i wasn't really into giving much interaction so i was just speaking but my job or, or I can be called more of a teacher because I teach. So the same thing the the the, the person that gives a training is a trainer, but it also is a speaker when they're when they are in the role of just speaking. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. This can be used just on the environment for conference for someone who works in media for example tv or radio is i heard i don't know if he's correct a radio announcer or speaker is that correct to use speaker for yeah yeah ah, okay. a speaker is anybody who gives um like a speech ah, okay. if i'm watching someone through the tv is a speaker yes Ah, okay. Okay, thank you. Somebody, like I said, somebody that that has the role of giving us certain information. Mm. That's a speaker. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay, guys. So if you notice, now here we're asking other questions. We're asking questions no more just with the verb to be. We're, we're asking questions for other verbs. And that's why in this case we use, for example, in a moment, give me a moment. We use, for example, did he provide examples of the topics he asked about? Notice? So there you go. Here's another question. Here's a question, but it does not contain the verb to be. Okay? So that's why we're gonna be, that's what we're actually we're gonna be learning today. How to use, how to make questions with verbs that are not the verb to be. Okay, so let's take a look right now. So this is a simple pass, yes or no questions. So. We're going to learn right now about the structure. And I need a volunteer to help me read. Who can help me? Just reading. Me, teacher. Is that jury? Yes. Okay. Hey, I'm, I didn't see you. I just, I, I heard your voice. <laughs> okay, go for it. Go for it, Jerry. Do simple past just no question to get information on past situations. The structure did plus subject plus verb plus complement plus question mark. Did the speaker use a computer in this speech? And yes, he did. No, he he didn't. Did the list did the listen, listen, listener ask questions? Yes, they did. No, they didn't. Thank you very much, Sherry. Okay. okay. So what's important about this is using the structure here. Gosh, I'm going to... Using the structure. So when we have other verbs, and this is actually something that we've already kind of talked about before in previous classes. In this case, what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be using, remember that we talked about using do or does, right? We talked about this in like, I don't know, about two or three classes ago. 
and we we talked about using do or does right we say for example does he work at a hospital and but that's for the present right now what we're looking for or what we're talking about is the past okay this is past situations okay and because they're past situations what we're going to do is we're going to be using the past of do or does and what is the past of do or does did, did. exactly did so that's what we're going to use. Now, the beauty of this structure is that we don't have to worry about what the subject is. It doesn't matter if it's I, you, he, she, it, we, or they. It's always going to be did. Okay, so that's the beautiful part about it. We don't have to worry about which auxiliary we use because it's always going to be did. Okay? And so you can see that in this question. Did the speaker use this computer in the speech? Did the listeners ask questions? By the way, listeners, um, remember, comes from the word listen. And listen, the letter, the letter T is actually silent. So don't forget about that, um, that we don't pronounce the word T. So it's not, so it wouldn't be listeners, it's listeners. Okay, so just remember about that. And then after that uh, goes our subject. Oops. Yeah. Subject. In this case is the speaker. And this one is the listeners. And after that, we have the verb, which is use. Now remember the verb, excuse me, the verb is going to be in the base form. So you're not going to change anything. So it doesn't matter what the subject is, it's always gonna be the same, okay? Doesn't matter if it's I, you, he, she, it, we, they, it's always gonna be the base form, okay? So that's why it's the speaker, the speaker is he or she, but we still use the word use, not uses, okay? And here the listeners are they, and we use as. And then after that, finally, we use the complement. Okay. So in this case, it's a computer and speech. In this one, it's questions. Okay. Now, for the, um, the answer, if you notice the, the structure of the answers, would just simply be yes, subject, and did or no in the subject plus didn't. And you don't have to really worry about the subject if it's he, she, it again. And it's always going to be did or didn't as the answer. So that's the beautiful part about, about this structure. You don't have to worry about that. Okay. So what do you guys think? Is this pretty clear? Yes. 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 Okay. So notice, did the speaker use a computer in this? Sorry, did the speaker use a computer in the speech? Yes, he did. Or no, he didn't. So we follow the rule. Yes. Subject, he, did, or no, and then subject, he, and then didn't. Same thing here. Did the listeners ask questions? The answer is yes. The subject, they, did, and then, or no, then the subject is they, and the word didn't. Okay. Now, some examples of this would be, did you want something to eat? Did she call me back? Did your friends bring me some board games? Did it make any weird noises? Did we watch that movie already? 
and did the kids participate in the game? Okay, so I'm just going to circle this, the words there so you can see clearly. So we all start with the word did. Then it's followed by the subject, in this case, you, here it's she, your friends, it, we, and the kids. After that comes the verb, want, call, bring, make, watch, participate. Okay? And notice it doesn't matter what the subject is, it's always gonna be the base form. Want, call, bring, make, watch, and participate are all in the base form. And after that, finally, we have this, this, the complement. Something to eat, be back, some board games, any weird noises, that movie already, and in the game, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just simply gonna say the question and you're gonna give me the two possible answers. So if I say, did you want something to eat? What would be the answer? Yes, I did. Yes, I did, or? Yes, I didn't. Okay, yes, no, I, no, I did. didn't. Or? No, I didn't. No, I didn't, good. Did she call me back? Yes, I did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Uh, no, she didn't. Yes, she did. No, she didn't. Did your friends bring some board games? Uh, yes, they did. No, they didn't. Exactly. They, because notice your friends is, is more than one, right? So this would be they. So they did. No, they didn't. Did it make any weird noises? No, it didn't. Or yes, it did. Yes, no, it did. <laughs> No, it, yes, yes it did or no it didn't, good. Did we watch the movie already? Yes, we did. No, we didn't. We didn't. Yeah, yes we did, no we didn't. Did the kids participate in the game? Um, yes, uh, they did, no they didn't. Exactly. Yes they did, no they didn't, okay? Why? Because the kids are more than one, so to say. <laughs> All right, is that pretty clear for everybody? We understand? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes. yes. Teacher. All clear? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, so let's clear those drawings and we're going to work on this, these exercises. So, wow. very simple past questions using the verbs and pronouns in parentheses. Take turns asking in uh, the questions you wrote to your classmates. So here we're going to be making questions like this. Okay. And you have a few minutes there to complete the, the questions. Okay, so you put the verbs in the correct form and the pronouns too.
Are you guys doing oh by the way guys i just realized something this is missing an s this should be double s pass is double s let me just fix that quickly Oh, sorry, I forgot about this one. Okay, how are you guys doing? Are we ready to check or do you need more time? Mm-hmm. Guys? Hi. Can you guys hear me? Yes, I can hear you. <laughs> I, I get I get worried when no one answers. Okay, so we're ready. Yeah. Okay. Yes, teacher. Um, do this quickly. Um. All right, Ivan, please tell me with number one. Did you meet your boss yesterday? Like that? Yes, please. Okay. All right, thank you. Yvonne, help me with the next one. Did she attend the July conference? Like that? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, Andres, please help me with number three. Is 
Did they stay in the meeting last night? Okay, thank you. Um, Warner, help me with number four, please. Did he pass the test? Thank you. Um, Carla, please number with number five, please. Did you have fun at the Christmas party? Thank you very much. Uh, Wendy, please number six. Did it start on time? Did it start on time? Okay. You. Um, uh, Johnny? Could you please help me with number seven? Number seven. Uh, did they leave early? Did they leave early? Okay, thank you. All right. And finally, um, Edgar, please number eight. Sorry, did did he arrive arrive on time to the conference? Thank you very much. All right, uh, anything you guys want to change or do you agree with the ans these answers? Agree. It's okay. Yes, I agree. Agree? Okay, let's see. Did you meet your boss yesterday? Correct. Did she attend the July conference? Correct. Did they stay in the meeting last, uh, last night? Correct. Did he pass the test? Correct. Did you have fun at the Christmas uh, party? Correct. Did you uh, did it start on time? Correct. Did they leave early? Correct. Did he arrive on time to the conference? Correct. Bravo. You guys got it. Excellent. Okay. All right. So it seems to me that you guys do understand this. It doesn't look like you guys are having any problems. So what I'm gonna do, make sure that you do understand this. I'm going to ask you to do the following. Write seven questions about past events and interview one or two classmates. So basically you're going to make up any questions that you wanna ask a partner, your partners, your classmates. Seven questions using did. Okay, hoy sí, de ese gusto con el did. Okay, did, did you, did they, did he, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, got it? Got it. Got it. Y hoy tiene más que suficiente tiempo. Porque hoy no nos vamos a ver hasta el... Viernes. Viernes. Okay. Friday. 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 Oh. Okay, so... Monday. No Monday. Friday. No Monday. It's Monday. <laughs> Friday, okay? All right, so I'll see you guys next Friday, or better said, this Friday. No, 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 next. Yeah, next Friday. <laughs> oh, let's do uh, this Friday. This Friday. Ser puente, ¿verdad? Uh, I make the bridge. <laughs> no, no, okay. this Friday. Okay. Um, okay, so that's going to be all for today, guys. Um, Wendy, will you be staying? I have you down for today. No, teacher, sorry. Okay. Anybody else would like to stay and get extra help? Sure. I just would like to tell you that uh, homework number 16 is not corrected yet. Yes, uh, the 16 and the second one. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll keep on on that one. Okay. No worries. All right. Anything else? Anybody else want to say something now? Okay. Before, uh, before anything, let me quickly take attendance. Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Andres. Present teacher. Edgar. Present teacher. Janet. 
Uh, uh, there's like a problem there with the microphone, but it's okay. Don't worry, I can see you. And I saw that you're moving. Let's roll away, so don't worry about that. Okay. Um, Fabiola? Present teacher. Uh, Heidi? Present teacher. Irene? Irene? Present teacher. Ivan? Ivan? Present teacher. Uh, Johnny? Present teacher. Um, Josue? Present teacher. Juan Francisco? Present teacher. Yuri? Present teacher. Carla? Carla? Present teacher. Uh, Melissa? No, right. Um, Luis? Present teacher. Manuel? Present teacher. Marvin? Present teacher. Wendy? Present teacher. Warner? Present teacher. Uh, Yvonne? Present. Francis Javier? And Jenny? All right, guys, that's it. I will see you guys Friday. Friday. <laughs> Friday next week. <laughs> no. I'm Happy not Father's be, Day, I'm by not, the I'm way. I'm not going to be here on next Friday, okay? So, so <laughs> okay. all right. So take care, guys. Enjoy your your um, vacation, okay? All right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank, 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Monday. Bye. 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 Remember, no Day. leche bol. <laughs> okay. Thank teacher, you. Una pregunta, teacher. Y nos, nos van a entregar un diploma al finalizar el módulo. No saben. Sí, deberían. Deberían. Okay. Sí. Thank you, teacher. Sí. See you. Sí, no, para los demás no lo han dado. Mm, no. No lo han dado para los anteriores. O sea. Es que es, 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 um, hasta donde yo entiendo, es, es um, digital. Sí, pero bueno, voy a preguntar a la empresa, porque no sé si, si a la empresa han enviado algo, no sé, no, pero no. creo que no, porque si no me lo hubiesen dado. Déjeme preguntar. Ok, yo, aunque ya le pregunté igual a, a Mister, al, la persona que me está llevando, el, ya le entregué toda la documentación también. Okay. 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 Sure. See you. See you. Friday. <laughs>